Welcome back to TechWolf and today we are going to do another CompTIA Plus Core 1 practice test and this will be already for latest exam for CompTIA A Plus 220-1201. And if you are interested in more videos like this go to the channel's homepage by clicking on TechWolf under this video and there you will find the full playlist for different certification practice tests or practice exam preparations. So, no further ado, let's get into it. And first question is, a user reports that their computer is frequently freezing. Task manager shows high CPU and memory usage. What is the most likely cause? Printer queue overload, weak Wi-Fi signal, malware or excessive background applications, low monitor refresh rate, or outdated browser cache. And here the correct answer is malware or excessive background applications as high CPU and memory usage can be caused by malware or too many background processes are running. A desktop computer has no sound. The speakers are powered on and connected. The volume is up. What should the technician check next? Default playback device in sound settings. RAM configuration, Wi-Fi channel, screen brightness, or printer paper tray. And here the correct answer is that technician should check the default playback device in sound the settings. As if sound is not playing, the wrong playback device may be selected in the system settings. A user connects a USB device but Windows does not recognize it. Other devices work fine in the same port. What should they check? Monitor refresh rate, Wi-Fi frequency, firewall rules, mouse sensitivity or the USB device on another computer. And here the correct answer is that the is the USB device on another computer. If other USB devices work, testing the faulty device on another computer can determine if it is defective. A technician is troubleshooting a system that beeps continuously on startup but does not boot. What should they check? Wi-Fi signal strengths, post error codes for hardware failure, user account permissions, printer firmware or monitor aspect ratio. And here the correct answer is post error codes for hardware failure. As continuous beeping on startup indicates a hardware issue. And this is also always the case as you know POST which stands for power on self test which checks all hardware devices which are connected to the motherboard. A user reports that their screen suddenly turned black but the computer is still running and the external monitor works fine. What is the most likely cause? Incorrect printer settings, overloaded CPU, faulty keyboard, outdated browser cache, or laptop screen failure or disconnected display cable. And here the correct answer is laptop screen failure or disconnected display cable. As if an external monitor works, the issue is likely related to the laptop's built-in display. And yes guys, if you are interested in more questions or doing these practice tests for yourself, you can also go to skilltestpro.com and do this practice test for yourself. And there are many practice tests for all examinations in Comte, Microsoft and Cisco, where three practice tests for all exams are absolutely free and you can check them out. And this is one of the most updated websites for different exam preparations, guys. And they, and the questions are really almost the same as in real exams. So, next question. A technician is troubleshooting a PC that does not recognize a newly installed GPU. The GPU fan is spinning. What should they check? Ethernet cable connection, monitor refresh rate, 
printer status, updated drivers and BIOS settings or firewall settings. And the correct answer is updated drivers and BIOS settings as if a GPU is powered on but not recognized, outdated drivers or BIOS settings may be the issue. A user's computer is unable to access mapped network drive. Other users can access it. What should the technician check? Wi-Fi channel, user's network credentials and drive mapping settings, monitor contrast settings, printer firmware or CPU fan speed. And the correct answer here is user's network credentials and driver and drive mapping settings. If others can access the drive, the issue may be related to the affected user's credentials or drive mapping. A user reports that their laptop's keyboard is typing the wrong characters. Caps, caps lock is off. What should the technician check? Keyboard layout settings, Wi-Fi frequency, printer driver, monitor refresh rate, or graphics card driver and here the correct answer is keyboard layout settings as if a keyboard types incorrect characters it is likely set to the wrong language layout a technician installs new ssd in desktop pc but windows installation fails due to no drive detected what should they check first wi-fi connection BIOS UFI to ensure the drive is detected, printer queue, monitor color collaboration, or external USB devices. And here the correct answer is BIOS UFI to ensure the drive is detected. As if a drive is not recognized during Windows installation, checking the BIOS UEFI setting is the first step. A user reports that their Ethernet connection is slow. Other users on the same network have no issues. What should the technician check? Printer ink levels, monitor refresh rate, damaged Ethernet cable or incorrect duplex settings, external mouse connectivity or screen resolution. And here the correct answer is damaged Ethernet cable or incorrect duplex settings as a faulty cable or incorrect duplex settings can cause slow wired network performance. A user is unable to connect to a corporate Wi-Fi network but can connect to other networks. Other users are not having issues. What should the technician check first? the user's Wi-Fi profile and authentication settings, screen brightness, mouse acceleration, USB driver updates, or BIOS settings. And here the correct answer is the user's Wi-Fi profile and authentication settings. As if only one user is affected, incorrect network authentication settings are likely the issue. A desktop computer randomly restarts without warning. What is the most likely cause? Corrupt printer driver, outdated antivirus software, power supply failure, weak Wi-Fi signal, or failed HDMI cable. And here the correct answer is power supply failure as a faulty power supply can cause unexpected restarts due to inconsistent power delivery. A user connects a second monitor, but it is not detected by Windows. What should the technician check first? Wi-Fi adapter settings, hard drive health, printer settings, display settings and cable connections, or speaker volume. And here the correct answer is that technician just should check first display settings and cable connections. As if a second monitor is not detected, the issue may be incorrect display settings or a loose cable. 
A user reports that their laptop's display is dim even at full brightness. The issue persists in BIOS. What is the most likely cause? Corrupt video driver, Wi-Fi interface, faulty backlight or inverter, incorrect network configuration, or low ink in the printer. And here the correct answer is faulty backlight or inter inverter. As if the issue occurs even in BIOS, it is likely hardware issue related to the screen, backlight or inverter. A user complains that their computer is running extremely slow after installing a new application. Task Manager shows high disk usage. What is the best course of action? Uninstall the application and check performance. Increase the screen resolution. Replace the network card, check printer queue, or disable antivirus software. And here the correct answer is uninstall the application and check performance as if the issue started after installing an application, removing, in ca removing it can help determine if it is the cause of high disk usage. And this also applies to updates, as this is one of the things which come to usually checks, whether you understand if you have installed or updated something in your computer or your operating system, the best or first course of action would be to remove it or uninstall it and to check if your update was the problem and it was causing this issue. A, user ex a user's external USB hard drive is connected but not accessible in Windows Explorer. Other USB devices work fine. What should the technician check next? Wi-Fi signal strengths, disk management for drive letter assignment, screen refresh rate, audio output settings, or mouse sensitivity. And here the correct answer is disk management for drive letter assignment. As if a drive does not have a letter assigned, it may not appear in Windows Explorer. A technician receives a ticket that users computer is displaying a boot MGR is missing error on startup. What is the most likely cause? Disconnected monitor cable, failed Wi-Fi adapter, corrupt boot sector or incorrect boot order, damaged graphics card or outdated printer driver. And here the correct answer is corrupt boot sector or incorrect boot order. As this error occurs where the system cannot find the boot manager file, often due to corrupt boot sector or incorrect boot order settings. A technician replaces a motherboard in desktop computer. After reassembly, the PC powers on, but there is no display and no beeps are, ha are heard. What should they check first? Screen brightness power connections on to the motherboard, Windows activation, default printer or Wi-Fi password. And here the correct answer is that they should check first power connections to the motherboard. As if the system powers on but does not display anything or beep, a, miss a missing or improperly connected power cable is likely cause. A user's computer is making loud wiring noises and shutting down unexpectedly. What is the most likely cause? Failed network adapter, corrupt graphics driver, disconnected USB device, overheating due to dust buildup, or a low printer toner. And here the correct answer is overheating due to a dust buildup as loud fan noises and unexpected shutdowns are common signs of overheating which may be caused by dust blocking airflow. A user reports that their laptop is not charging when plugged in. The charging indicator does not light up but the charger works with another laptop. What should the technician check first? Wi-Fi adapter settings. DC jack connection, BIOS boot order, screen resolution, 
or printer spooler service. And here the correct answer is DC jack connection. As if the charger works on another laptop, the issue may be with the DC jack inside the laptop, which could be loose or damaged. So yes guys, if you found this video useful, leave a like, share this video, subscribe to the channel if you are new and if you are interested in more quizzes, more videos like this, go to the channel's homepage where you will find many playlists for many different examinations for CompTIA, Microsoft and Cisco. And see you in the next one.